Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about third problem from cash book topic. So this video is about simple cash book. I am taking this problem from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter First Year Accountancy Test Book. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about cash book topic. Question is available in the description box. This is the format of single column cash book. It is divided into two sides: debit side, credit side. Debit side columns are date, particulars, ledger, folio number, and amount. Credit side also same. To prepare single column cash book, there are two methods. First one, in question he has given some transactions, no? So by using journal entries for each transaction, we can prepare single column cash book. Second method is shortcut method. So in present video, I am going to explain shortcut method. That is single column cash book. Here we are preparing cash book, nothing but cash account. So cash account is a real account because cash means asset. Assets come under real account. What is real account rule? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. So we should assume that we are preparing this book in firms books. So think from firms point of view. To the firm, if cash is coming, debit side we should write that. From the firm, if cash is going, credit side we have to show that. Let us start the problem. Prepare simple cash book as on 31st March 2019. First March 2019 brought cash into business 14,000 rupees. To start the business, owner brought capital. Cash is coming into the firm. Debit side. First March 2019. Two. Capital is coming into the business now. Write the capital account. 14,000 rupees. Third day, cash sales 2,000. Firm sold goods to customer for cash. So goods are going from customer, cash is coming. Debit side. Third day, when goods are sold, we should write sales word to sales account. 2,000 rupees. Sixth day, cash paid into bank 5,000. So we are paying cash into bank, means we deposited money into bank. From the firm, cash is going, credit side. Sixth date, we are depositing money into bank now, therefore write down by bank account. Amount, 5,000 rupees. Eighth day, purchased goods from Varun for cash, 1,500 rupees. Clearly as given for cash, we purchased for cash. So goods are coming, cash is going. Credit side. Eighth date. Don't write Varun. Goods are purchased, no? So purchase a second, we should write. 1500 rupees. Twelfth date. Xerox charges 500. Expenditure. We paid Xerox charges. Cash is going. Credit side. Twelfth date. Buy Xerox charges account. Amount 500 rupees. Fifteenth date. Salary is 1400. Firm paid salaries to employees. Cash is going credit side. Fifteenth date. Expenditure name is salary no? by salaries account. Fourteen hundred rupees. Seventeenth date. Interest received two hundred. We are receiving interest. Cash is coming. Income debit side. Seventeenth date. Income name we should write. For income you have to add received word. So instead of writing interest, write them to interest received account, 200 rupees. 21st day, office expenses 400. Expenditure now from the firm cash is going credit side. 21st date, buy office expenses account, 400 rupees. 25th day, traveling expenses 800. Cash is going credit side. Buy traveling expenses account. 800 rupees. 27th date, sold furniture 8500. Firm sold furniture to customer. So from the firm, furniture is going. Customer's name is not given. Means this is cash sale. Cash is coming. Debit side. Because cash is coming. 27th. If goods are sold, we have to write sales word. If any fixed asset is sold, that asset name we should write. So write down furniture account. 8500. 28th, drawing 700. So from the firm, owner withdrew money for personal use. From the firm, cash is going, credit side. 28th date, 
by drawing account 700 rupees 30 day credit purchases from raghu 4000 rupees so from raghu firm purchased goods on credit goods are coming so cash is not going therefore it doesn't appear in cash book it appears in purchase book other subsidiary book so ignore this 31st day purchases 3000 so supplier's name is not given means this is cash purchase we purchased goods for cash from supplier so goods are coming cash is going credit side 31st day buy purchases account 3000 rupees so all transactions we have posted in cash book posting is completed next step is balancing find out the totals of two columns debit column total is 24700 credit column total 13300 so debit total should be more than credit total then only a problem is correct because debit side we are writing receipts credit side payments what we receive from that only we pay no so receipt should be more payment should be less difference 11400 credit side we should write because credit side total is less date is last date of the month in march month last date is 31st for answer, write down balance carried down amount 11,400 rupees. Two sets put the highest total, debit total 24,700 rupees. Credit said balance carried down came. So, debit side you have to bring this balance. Date should be next immediate date of this date. 1st April 2019 We are bringing the balance now So write down To balance brought down Amount 11,400 rupees So this is all about Third problem from cash book topic Hope this video is helpful to you Thank you